One of the biggest challenges of my life right now is freaking getting dressed. You want kiwi? Yay! What's going on, fam? <laughs> smells like fall. Are you drinking my pink lemonade? My weakness, the food section. We're gonna be making some amazing Caesar salad with salmon on top, my own dressing, homemade croutons. This is literally the best recipe ever. Mm-hmm. Mm Thank you to Birch Living for sponsoring a portion of today's video. Good morning, you guys. I'm just finishing up and getting ready for the day. I took a shower last night and I just slept on my hair and I've just been really loving doing these like natural beachy waves using my flat iron. Look how pretty that looks. And it's super easy to do. I'm just gonna clamp at the top over here. And then as I work my way down, I just kind of like twist the flat iron in and out and it leaves you with the prettiest beachy wave. Here's basically the final result of what it looks like. It looks so natural, especially now that my hair is super long, which I'm so excited about. It is currently 7.30 and baby girl woke up, so I'm gonna go grab her right now. I can hear her crying, but it's not even like a real cry. It's like a whine. She is such a drama queen. And look, as soon as I come in, she'll be totally fine. Hi. Hello. Good morning. Guys, look at this hair. <laughs> She kept saying, Mwah. she kept saying cookie. You want a cookie? A cookie? No. <coughs> Ooh, you fake little crier. She got a bowl. Where did you get that bowl from? You want an orange? Good job. So best hack ever with these oranges, you just take them and you kind of like flap them out just like this. Comes out in the nicest uh -oh. little shape and then she can help me kill them for herself. Good job. Okay, let's do your hair, Leo. One piggy, let's do piggy number two. Yay, so cute. Mm. Yummy? Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna snack with her. I have some cut up kiwi and apples from yesterday. You want kiwi? Okay. Yay, Yay kiwi. Mm. Uh, apple? Apple? Okay guys, she also has a thing. I don't know like really where this came from, but whenever I give her food, she like absolutely needs it to be separated into little slots. No. So like if I put the apple over here or if I put the kiwi over here, it's it's gonna bug her so much, look. <laughs> or even like if I put the apple here. <laughs> no apple? <laughs> she needs it to be separated all the time and it is the, honestly the best thing ever Something that I really felt like I'm at a stage of is the nesting stage And if you guys have been pregnant before or you know someone who's been pregnant usually towards month like seven eight nine Moms, I mean at least me in my past experience and everybody I know who's been pregnant gets to this point where they just want to like have everything organized to a T and prepped to a T. So I'm gonna take you guys with me today to HomeSense or Home Goods. I keep saying HomeSense, the Canadian version, but we're gonna go to Home Goods and I wanna find myself a bunch of like pantry organizers, acrylic boxes for my spices. Pretty much gonna be like a nice organizing day. We're gonna cook at some point. I have been craving my famous Caesar salad, which I'm gonna go ahead and make. I've a come, I've a home. What did you bring? Me? Some desserts. What's going on, fam? <gasps> Look at that. Ooh, Bam. Dang. I, whoa, whoa, what you doing, man? I want. Oh, is that cinnamon? That's cinnamon. That one's mine. I have no idea what that is. It just has blueberry and it says chocolate inside. Ooh. Aliyah, no, for you, you could not. Oh, my babe. Opening this in front of her? No. <laughs> we can give her a little piece. She was good. Here you go. I can. You were good. Mm -hmm. She ate a lot of fruit, so. <laughs> okay, you guys, truly, one of the biggest challenges of my life right now is freaking getting dressed. And these pants, I'm not kidding, these pants used to hang off of me, like, completely. I used to have to wear them with a belt, and they won't even button up right now. This would have made such a freaking cute outfit together. I'm out of breath just freaking trying to get them on. <laughs> I just dropped off Aaliyah at daycare, and now before I head home, I'm actually gonna stop by Starbucks. Even though we're, like, pretty much more than halfway through fall at this point, I have not yet had a single pumpkin spice latte. I personally really like the taste of them. I'm gonna stop by and grab that for myself. And then I got the desserts waiting right at home that Ellen brought for me. Mm, 
smells like fall. Oh, it's a lot sweeter than I remember. But it's really, it's really good. I'm actually thinking if I stop by HomeSense today, maybe they have a bunch of like uh, fall syrups available, like pumpkin spice, salted caramel, maybe toasted marshmallow. If they have a few of those, I would definitely pick those up because I personally really like making my own coffee. Not only that, spending five dollars per coffee every single time you go out, I think is ridiculous. But let's head back home so I can enjoy this whilst enjoying my dessert. Mm. Every time Erin goes in the morning to pray at shul, they usually serve everybody at the synagogue some food and he always thinks about me and tries to bring some stuff home if he can, which obviously I'm very appreciative of. Let's start with the blueberry. Mm. Cinnamon. Mm. Ooh, no wonder I really like that one. That one was really good. And then a bite of the chocolate. Mm. You guys, if this is not me fulfilling, Typical pregnancy cravings. I don't know what is. I've been having such a sweet tooth with this baby Okay, now that my belly is full. I'm gonna go ahead and get my workday started I actually have a couple Instagram stories that I have to film for a brand that I got these PJs They are honestly the best so I'm gonna go ahead and change into them right now so I can get that done I mean how freaking cute are they and they're so comfy There's like so much room for my bump and I got them in my favorite sage green color Which actually matches my bed kind of perfect and speaking of my bed you guys I actually promised you a couple months ago that I would give you an update on my current mattress. It has officially been over a month of me and Evan sleeping on this Birch mattress and you guys, we are obsessed. So I did want to thank Birch Living for sponsoring this portion of the video. I am so happy that I discovered this brand. This is basically a mattress in a box company which makes mattresses and other sleep products that are stylish, comfortable, and environmentally friendly. I'm going to insert some footage of when we first got the mattress. It was so easy to set up because like I said, it arrived in a box. Evan and I were able to open it up. And now that Evan and I have actually slept on this mattress for over 30 days, I can definitely say it is so comfortable, especially compared to the mattress we had before. Because as you guys know, when you are pregnant, you're actually not allowed to sleep on your back. You always have to sleep on your sides. So I needed a mattress that was kind of like strong enough to be able to support me and support my belly and not sink down too low. And because the Birch mattresses are made of natural and organic materials, you know that you're sleeping on something that is very breathable, but I haven't been waking up like all sweaty and gross with those like night sweats. Nobody likes that. Those are just a couple reasons why I have been loving the Birch mattresses, but even if it's important for you to want to do some good for the environment, Birch also ensures that all their materials are produced and harvested sustainably. So really you guys, I'm so happy. I only see myself repurchasing the Birch mattresses for our future beds for like when Aaliyah grows into and is ready for a toddler bed. Birch Living actually offers a 100 night sleep trial so you can try it out for 100 nights and if you don't like it, someone will come pick it up and bring it back and refund all of your money. This mattress ships and delivers for free within the United States. Plus it also comes with a 25 year warranty so you already know that you're set with a good mattress for the long term. And we've actually been sleeping with the Birch Eco Rest Pillows. These are made from 100% recycled plastic water bottles. And right now on Birch, you can get a deal for yourself. You can get $400 off a brand new mattress and get two free Eco Rest Pillows with your order. They're breathable and better for the environment, just like everything from Birch. So I highly encourage you guys to go ahead and check them out for yourself. Again, I'm gonna leave a link down below or you can check out the URL birchliving.com slash Haley's Corner to claim your deal of $400 off a new mattress along with two Eco Rest pillows and let's just say this mattress along with my big pregnancy pillow from Amazon I have been having some of the best sleep of my life especially in this difficult third trimester all right so I've officially done all the work that I needed to today and I just changed because it's honestly so hot outside and because I'm gonna go to home goods there's a Marshalls nearby so I may go and try on some clothes I wanted something super easy to try on clothes with so I just changed into this set from story love this brand by the way they have so many new releases like every couple of weeks they send me some new sets I officially am a size 8 right now because of the bum but they have workout sets and clothing that are actually not meant for pregnancy but because their fabric is so nice and stretchy I can wear it throughout my whole pregnancy which is literally the best because I'm leaving the house I'm gonna just wear this cropped sweater over top just so that I feel a little bit more comfortable and Eran just got back home and he told me he brought me some lunch Eran yeah. did you bring me food Papa. Brought tapas? No, pasta. It's only oh, pasta. Pata. Yummy! I am so gonna dig into that right now. Oh, what are you drinking? Is that pink lemonade? Are you drinking my pink lemonade? It's not yours. It's ours. Why are you hiding it behind your back? Wait, I want to have some. Can I have some? 
Mm, guys, this has been one of my top pregnancy addictions. I'm not kidding, but the Simply Lemonade, like it's obviously too sweet on its own. So what I do is I literally put like maybe 20% lemonade and just a bunch of water and some ice. And, and what I do is I amazing. put a drop of water and a bunch of this. <laughs> Little update if you guys are not aware, Erin and I launched the Hey Babes podcast and it's been going so well. Like we've been getting such great feedback. If you don't know, I'm gonna link down below that we actually have a channel where we do a video version of the podcast, but we also uploaded our episodes to to Spotify and Apple Podcasts if you are just someone who likes to like pop in your headphones and listen to a podcast as you go about your day and do stuff. Yeah, it's a very different approach that we're doing, but it's like a very exciting venture because we feel like we can just like go any direction with this. Yeah. You just can really get to know us as people. The first episode, we actually covered like our dating history, how we met, our long distance relationship experience, our first breakup. A lot of people don't know that. Ellen and I actually did break up at some point in our relationship. Kind of how we got back together and then ending up getting married at 21. If you want to know more about that, again, I'm going to link the first episode down below. And we are going to have weekly episodes every Tuesday, so stick around for that and it's going to be fun. Okay, I'm about to head out, but before I do, I need to show you like our pantry section and the cup section that I need to organize. So, I mean, just like look at how not organized this is. This is giving me a headache just to watch. I kind of started, like I ordered a few things already from Amazon, but we definitely need a nice storage bin organization labeling situation here and then this right here is our appliance section I obviously need to go ahead and clean it up but I wanted some kind of organization method for all of these cups because just going and stacking them on top of one another I don't like it plus they also tend to gather dust when they're open like this so I'm gonna see maybe HomeSense has some kind of solution for that and for the plates as well dang guys I mean Halloween hasn't even passed yet and they already stocked all the holiday decor boo you guys I'm upset they don't have what I'm looking for they have a lot of these like storage bins and stuff but I'm looking for these um, shelf things to kind of elevate where the cups are that I can kind of hang them like a rack. They don't have it here so I may have to go and order it on Amazon. Ugh, does that mean I'm not going to get to it today? Ooh, these little bowls right here. This would actually be perfect for soy sauce for when Erin and I have sushi. Oh my gosh, it's only $4.50 too. Ugh. Guys, my weakness, the food section. After having the pumpkin spice latte today, I need to find myself some good syrups. Oh, they have so many different options. <gasps> There we go. I guess I'm gonna try to go with the pumpkin pie, even though it does say sugar-free. And I don't really know how I feel about that because <laughs> these syrups are meant to make your drinks sweet. <laughs> Merp, you guys, I barely found anything, but to be honest, I only had 45 minutes because I'm actually about to go ahead and pick up Aaliyah. I didn't find any home stuff except for those little soy sauce bowls and the syrup as you guys saw, but I did stop by Marshall's, which is right next door, and I was able to go ahead and find a couple dresses for the fall time, you know, dresses for my pregnant belly because as you saw this morning, it's very hard to find pants and stuff that fit me, so dresses is kind of my only alternative, but I found some really cute ones, so I'm going to show you a quick little haul when I get home. Right after I pick up Aaliyah. Well, isn't that a lovely husband? To my surprise, I actually ordered something for Aaliyah that I saw arrive today from Amazon. I was gonna build it myself, but Eran's already got on it. Can you guys guess what this is? Eran, do you even know what this is? I don't know, a tiny step up chair uh, for mm -hmm. like. <laughs> Basically, this is it's upside down right now, but this is a learning tower I've seen a lot of people um, using this with their kids lately Aaliyah's got into a point where she's always wanting to be next to me And I notice especially when I'm doing stuff in the kitchen I kind of want her to be a part of it So the leaning tower is like gonna go somewhere here and basically kind of puts her at the same height as me So that whenever I'm doing stuff on the counter, she can be up with me I used to be really nervous about like the safety of this, but I looked at the reviews on this one It's amazing. It's got a bar in the back that keeps them from falling and as much as you obviously like got to keep an eye on it i am so excited to have her try it <gasps> are you excited something i kind of realized now we got to keep all the sweets and the brownies and stuff off the counter because oh, she can't reach no. it by herself <laughs> See, baby, you don't think we're... so why we, we should return this then no 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 it's okay look at this butt hello Excuse there me. Uh, it ain't free i don't think she gets that you're supposed wow, to step it over yeah. Okay, wait, so how does it work? She climbs up on this step and then she gets in there? <gasps> Is she gonna get it? No, like, Babe, look, she's gonna no, wait. wait, it's a little wobbly. I need to fix the untied yeah. I think she's just gonna sit like that all the time. Uh oh. All right, it's a little wobbly, so he's gonna have to restabilize it. For now, let me show you guys what dresses I got from Marshalls. So, non pregnant me would do the right thing and try all of this on for you. Pregnant me will not. <laughs> Honestly, they're like super simple, casual dresses. I just kind of wanted stuff that I can easily throw on and off, especially for Shabbat, because um, whenever we have Shabbat dinner, you usually wear like skirts and dresses on Shabbat. So, I picked up this brown one. I noticed dresses that have like a bust cut here are 
super flattering for the belly. So I got this one, which is a nice kneeling. And then this one, you can tell I'm really liking the neutrals right now. This one was on sale for $16, kind of awesome, but I really like the pattern of it and the little button details at the front. Again, it has a seam cut right under the boob, which is the best for bellies. Then I got this nice little green one, which was super cute as well. Also only $16 and the material of this one is super stretchy and nice. And then the last one I got, very similar to the rest, but also very cute and it's actually longer. It's kind of like um, a midi length, which I love. Oh, and randomly at Marshalls, I also picked up a step stool in the prettiest purple color because in my closet, I actually started putting away all the clothes that don't fit me kind of like above my closet. So to reach it, I need a step stool. We had one downstairs, but Eran kept getting mad that I kept taking it up. So that's why I got a second one for that. Okay guys, welcome back to Haley's Kitchen Corner. Sun is starting to set. We're gonna start working on dinner. We're gonna be making some amazing Caesar salad with salmon on top and the Caesar salad Salad is totally made from scratch. So my own dressing, homemade croutons, this is literally the best recipe ever. And the best part is that it's dairy free and it's so easy to make. So to start off, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my romaine. I mean, yeah, you don't need a tutorial on how to wash your lettuce, you guys. But let me just say, there is a certain method that I like to use when washing my lettuce that I personally feel like is the best. But I just take my romaine, I plop it into a big bowl. I don't really have a big bowl, so I'm just using a big pot. And then what you actually wanna do is soak your lettuce for a few minutes in salt like a lot of salt. The more salt, the better. That's what's gonna get all the little buggies out. Lettuce has a lot of those tiny little green bugs that you don't notice and eating bugs is not kosher. So because of that, we learned how to wash our lettuce really well. So while that's soaking, I'm gonna get started on my uh, croutons. When I showed the final product of this on Instagram, I got so many questions about how I make my croutons. It is the easiest thing. If you're buying store-bought croutons, please stop, make these yourself. It is so much easier, so much quicker and cheaper too. But basically you could use any bread. My favorite is just like this Italian loaf that I get from Walmart for like $1.50, but you can use any leftover bread that you have or even bread that's like starting to go stale. I think I'm gonna make about half. Tried to switch you over here so there's no sun glare, but I'm just gonna take the loaf and I'm pretty much just gonna dice up the croutons into the shape that I want. I just cut it lengthwise and then make some big cubes. By all means, it does not have to be perfect. <laughs> Alright, now that it's all cut up, I'm gonna prop it into my bowl. All right, all my croutons are in the bowl and now I'm gonna go ahead and season them. So first thing, you definitely wanna use real olive oil. That's kind of what's gonna give it that like Italian crouton taste. I do kind of just eyeball everything and I keep mixing it as I season. So I'm gonna do like a nice coating of olive oil. I'm going to also sprinkle in some salt. Garlic powder, yummy. If you're someone who doesn't like garlic so much, then obviously you can skip this step, but you could be pretty, pretty generous with this garlic powder. And then the last thing that you're definitely gonna need in order to give it that Italian taste is just a ton of oregano. I'm just going to sprinkle a good amount of that in. I'm gonna line a little baking sheet. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees and then just add your croutons to a baking sheet and just spread out all the croutons so that they're not on top of each other and they're in a single layer. See, croutons done, lettuce done. All that's left is the dressing. So the base of our dressing is actually mayo. That's literally the base of what makes this dressing so good and creamy. I'm gonna make a lot because I like having this. It keeps in the fridge for maybe two weeks. I'm gonna take two big spoonfuls of mayonnaise. Into that, what you're gonna wanna add is some garlic. This is obviously if you're a garlic fan, but I personally feel like adding some fresh garlic makes this taste incredible. And the finer you can get this grated, the better, because then nobody's gonna bite into like some huge garlic chunks because that's not fun. Then I'm just gonna add the tiniest squeeze of some Dijon mustard. Um, I know the regular Caesar dressing has it, so recently I started putting it in to my dressing as well. I put in about, I wanna say half a teaspoon. You're gonna do a sprinkle of black pepper. And then the last ingredient that you're gonna want for your Caesar dressing is what makes it tangy. In real Caesar dressing, people actually add anchovy paste. Yes, like little fish anchovy paste. I obviously think that's really complicated and also kind of a little bit weird. I don't really want my Caesar dressing to taste fishy. So instead, what I've been doing is taking the juice of half a lemon and adding it in there. It gives it that tangy taste without being fishy and gross. Plus, lemons are super cheap, which is really nice. So that goes in there and that's basically it, you guys. Those are all the ingredients you need to perfect your non-dairy Caesar dressing. Okay, not even 10 minutes later, I want to say. Look at our beautiful toasted croutons. They look so yum. And now it's time to assemble. Put 
but Aaliyah to sleep just in time to dig into my dinner. Well, Aaliyah actually kind of dug into my salad and my fish before I even got a chance to try it, but mm, so good. And listen to the crunch of these croutons. Mm, you guys have to try this. You'll be obsessed. The croutons keep for like almost two weeks. Just put it in a Ziploc bag, but keep the Ziploc bag slightly open because when you close it, that's actually how they become stale. Because they are dehydrated, they're not gonna go bad. Oh, and I didn't even realize, I didn't even explain in terms of how I made the fish. Super simple. Here's like a quick little Instagram story that I posted. Follow me on Instagram, by the way, if you wanna see me like make recipes and stuff. I tend to share a lot on there. But I just took some regular salmon fillets, put some olive oil, salt, pepper, paprika, garlic powder, and then just baked it for 350 and then topped it off with lemon right when it comes out of the oven but i hope you guys enjoy this little all over the place vlog if you are watching up to this point you are the real mvps we know it if you are watching right now then be sure to comment down below caesar queen it's crazy how quickly it's starting to get dark it makes me want to go to bed so much earlier and speaking of going to bed i did want to remind you guys that i'm gonna have a link down below or you can go to birchloving.com slash haley's corner you guys can get 400 off any mattress on their website along with two of their eco rest pillows which are made from recycled plastic water bottles so 400 in savings plus two pillows i mean it's already a great deal plus you're really gonna enjoy your sleep with the birch loving mattress but thank you all again so much for watching i'm gonna dig into this dinner probably just cozy up with Evan tonight and watch a movie and that's what our night will look like today love you all and can't wait to see you in my next one mm, who am i now i'm a leo mm -hmm.